Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. And in this video, I wanted to bring to you awareness of a topic that I've wanted to do for a little bit on my channel. And I think it's a topic that hasn't really been talked about a lot, especially in the spirituality, spiritual community, you know, um, and so I want to bring awareness, I want to bring attention to this topic, and that's going to be circumcision. Now, I want to bring to you awareness of um, just pretty much what goes on and what and how really dangerous it is to circumcise your child, you know, um, and let me just start off by saying this, that I'm, you know, I don't think that circumcision is a good thing. I'm. I would say that I'm against it, um, you know, but if a person wants to do it on their own when they're like, you know, older, I'm 100% okay with that. Where it becomes a problem is when you circumcise your child as soon as they're born, you know, um, because they don't really have consent and they don't really have um, a say in what they want to do to their body, you know, um, and so I think that that's a problem. And so I have some more notes that I wrote down right here. But if you don't know what circumcision is, it's pretty much where it's a procedure that happens in hospitals and where babies are born and they get, they pretty much take the child, you know, as soon as they're born and they cut off, you know, um, their foreskin pretty much. Um, which is like the end of a baby's like penis. If you ask me, it's really disgusting. Um, it's not, you know, it's not ethical. It's not really logical. Um, a lot of the times people will say, oh, there's a whole bunch of health benefits to circumcising your child. But in reality, you know, uncircumcised children aren't really dirty. You know, um, that's like saying everybody who doesn't circumcise their child is like dirty. Um, which just isn't the case. All you have to do is just pull the foreskin back and, you know, just wash yourself, really. All you have to do is just clean yourself. It doesn't really take that much time. But, you know, a lot of people like to say that there's so much, so many health benefits to it. But it's just simply not the case, you know. Um, and the trauma that that child goes through is something that needs to be addressed, you know what I mean? And you know, another topic that I want to kind of get to is the fact that each circumcision that they do is around 200, it's, it's around $200, you know, I'm being conservative. Some doctors have it more than that, but generally it's around $200. Um, and, you know, they do this to like a million babies, you know, per year. And it's prevalent mainly in, um, in African, in places in Africa. But, you know, the United States is also known for being a popular, um, it being a popular practice as well. Just take into consideration $200 and around a million babies get circumcised per year. Other than that, there's, the fact is that these medical companies, they make over $350 million per year just off of circumcision alone you know what i mean so just think about think about all that money that they make all that money that they make they could do so much with it right they could help us out in so many different ways they could honestly grant us a way bigger stimulus check if you really think about it just based on that kind of money alone right on top of all of this there's a lot of circumcisions that actually get botched so they have to go you know the money that they make that these medical companies make it's that's not even the 350 million that's not even including all the botched circumcisions that happen to where they have to go back and get another procedure done. You know what I mean? So, you know, imagine that. It's a lot of money is pretty much what I'm trying to say. There's also a problem of, you know, children dying. You know, you can look this up. There's over 100 babies that actually die every year from circumcision. And um, it's just a procedure that's not really necessary. I could go on and on, but they actually use babies' foreskins for, you know, high-end beauty products, um, skincare products. Oprah Winfrey 
you know, I'm going to call her out because, you know, she seems every, you know, everybody seems to like really like her and stuff like that. And, um, she's honestly, she seems like a really good person. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, if I probably like, like if I met her in real life, I would probably really respect her as an individual. But one thing that I can't respect is the fact that she actually uses these, <coughs> excuse me, but she actually uses these skincare products that contain baby's foreskin in, you know, she uses it for herself. So, you know, and you can look this up too. They, the code word for it is human fibroblast or yeah, human fibroblast. But in reality, it's just, that's just the code word for baby's foreskin. You know what I mean? Um, and it's disgusting. It's fucking sick. In my opinion, it's, it's really nasty. It's unethical. I think that on top of all of this, I, I really want to address the issue that it's not, you know, a lot, a lot of people are just uninformed, which is why I'm here. You know what I mean? I, I really want to just educate you guys on what's actually really going on in um, the medical in industry and what's actually happening to these children that are, you know, some, in some cases dying, you know, and like I said before, you know what I mean? If it's, if this is a decision that you want to make when you're, you know, older, when you're like at least an adult, maybe then that's on you. You know what I mean? I, I fully support that. Like I'm, I'm not going to go against, uh, your choice, but you know, in terms of hospitals taking their children from, um, from the parents, you know, and deciding to circumcise them it's just, it's really unethical, you know, and it's, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I, I want people to, I want a lot more people to understand why this is so dangerous and why this is so bad. But, um, you know, on top of all of this, I think the, this is going to be my last point, but I want to just say that there's so much that could be taught in schools. You know what I mean? There's so much information that we could get taught from you know, sexual education, um, and sex ed in, in schools. Right. You know, and I think that's one of the biggest issues with this is that a lot of people are uninformed and it starts with, you know, introducing this type of topic into the, into the school system, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm against the school system, how, how it, how it is right now. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's stupid. I think that there's so much more information that they could be talking about that just isn't, that it's just, it's not happening. You know what I mean? And so, you know, and, and honestly, like I know why, right? It's because it's a huge money thing, right? Foreskin, you know, you can look up how much foreskin's worth, but it's, I can tell you that it's very expensive and, you know, rightfully so because it's not meant to be cut off. Right. But that's the thing they do it for, you know, a lot of the times it's for money purposes and it's because of the money, but it's, it's just, you know, like I said before, there needs to be more education on this, which is why a lot of people are just uninformed, you know what I mean? And you can't really blame them. Um, you know, they're making the, this decision unconsciously because they don't, they're not aware of the actual repercussions of their child, you know? And, and so, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from this, but you know, the next time you say that, you know, or the next time you hear someone say that, you know, if you don't circumcise your kid, then it's dirty, you know, really think about it and really actually do your research on it because there's a lot of research out there that says that circumcision is not really good and it's it's just unethical like I said before it's it just doesn't make sense to me and this is going to be one of the many videos I do on um circumcision you know I'm I'm going to I'm going to bring this up again but you know I just kind of wanted to make this video informing you guys about what what is about what it is really, you know, and, um, a lot of the lies that we've been told and, 
why this needs to be introduced in the school system, right? And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, you learned something from this, like I said before. With that being said, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at. And peace, love, and happiness, y'all. Unless you circumcise your children. No, I'm just kidding. But, um... Peace.